Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. In this video, I am going to show you how to onboard your device into the NuNet Alpha. If you don't know what NuNet is, this video is not for you. I'll do a video later explaining what NuNet is. For now, I'll just say it's a new cryptocurrency project. But um, this is going to be on Windows 10. So it may be different if you're on a different operating system, but in Windows 10, you need to first, let me open up all my links here and show you what you need to go to. Go to my Google Drive real quick. I would have had Google Drive open already, but things seem to mess up when I start the video with Google Drive already open. So anyway, all right, let me make sure. Okay, because it's going to work. Good. All right, so um, first thing you need to do is to download the Oracle Virtual Machine. A virtual machine is kind of a uh, simulation of another operating system within your Windows or Mac operating system. So all of these links will be in the description or a pinned comment. So go to this link and download Oracle Virtual Machine. Then you need to get a Linux operating system to run in the virtual machine because NuNet Private Alpha only works with a uh, Linux operating system. So um, this I'll have this link that you can use to download Ubuntu Linux version 20. That's what I used and it worked for me. So after you've downloaded the virtual machine and installed Ubuntu into it, then um, you can get into Linux, which is what I'm in right now. And then we can start onboarding for the NuNet. So go to this link, and this is Kabir, the CEO of NuNet, his onboarding procedure. Um, so uh, skip this part, don't do the via direct script download, go down to via manual clone repository. That's, that's what I was able to do. And then you need to go to activities and search for terminal and open up your terminal. So terminal is the old way people used to use computers rather than clicking on windows and stuff, they would input commands into a terminal. And so right now, since this is an alpha state, uh, we have to do it this way. So um, copy this first link of Kabir's walkthrough and then paste in this link. Now I've already installed it. So for me, it just said that it says that it already exists. But for you, when you put that um, command in, it will do a whole bunch of coding and will download all of the stuff. And then you need to go to CD NuNet Infra Device Onboarding. Copy that command. And this command is very important because that actually puts puts your terminal into the mode that it can accept commands about NuNet. So this blue thing means that I'm, I'm, my commands will have to do with NuNet. And then you're going to go to, you're going to copy bash onboarding install. Again, I don't need to do this, but I'm showing you how to do it. Paste in that command and, um, okay, I need to put my password in. You will too. Yeah, and mine, mine is already installed, but yours will install. And um, I'm not going to be showing you how to install Virtual Machine or Ubuntu or anything. There's other guides for that. But um, anyway, the lastly, you need to do the bash onboarding config. And this is the last thing that will actually put your device onto the new net. Oh, and... Um, the other thing I wanted to say was the reason this is called a private alpha, it, it's open to anyone to join. The reason it's called private is because it's not on a real blockchain like Ethereum. It's on a test net, so we can't earn any real money currently. 
that's why it's private. But when, once we get on the public alpha, it'll be connected to the real Ethereum blockchain and then later other blockchains like Cardano and we'll be able to earn money by uh, providing computing power to NuNet. But anyway, so your system has that much RAM. I'm going to allocate 4,000 RAM to it. And this part is a bug. There's a bug with the private alpha. It, when you use a virtual machine, it can't detect how much CPU speed you have. I'm going to put in 2000. And then you need to type in the network you want to join. And we want new net private alpha. And then you have an existing address. So like I explained, this isn't on the real Ethereum, so do not put in your Ethereum address. You need to say no and have it generate a random address for the for the testnet alpha state. Um, now it's showing my private key and address that it created for me. Normally you should never show people your private key, but this is just a generated one on the test net, so you can't, I'm not actually going to be getting any money and you can't steal my money with this private key. But anyway, uh, do you want to see the revol resulting configuration? Yes. All right, so there's another bug here. Remember it said zero for my megahertz, which is my CPU usage. Um, I put in 2000, but on here it says negative 2000. So there's there's a lot of bugginess with that, but I don't think that hurts it. I've tried some different things. Originally I put zero for CPU and it said zero. And then, I, you know, I did this, I put in 2000, it said negative 2000. I've also tried putting in negative 2000 and then on here it said positive 2000. But no matter what I put, it, it seems to work. I, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. The whole allocation of CPU is messed up, so don't worry about it. Put in whatever number you want and I think it'll work okay. And then it says the other information about my device. So now my device is onboarded. Now, if you want to remove it, um, you need to, if you want to remove your device from NuNet, you need to put in um, this, the CD NuNet infra device onboarding to make sure you are, are in the NuNet command mode. And then you need to go down here and copy bash onboarding remove put in that command and that will remove your device from NuNet. It won't delete all the files. Uh, you'll still have all the files for NuNet, but it will remove your device from NuNet so that NuNet can't uh, use your computing power anymore. All right, and now the last thing I wanna show you is, um, so once you've onboarded your device, you can't really see any feedback that it's actually running. Um, later, Kabir says there's going to be a dashboard that will show us how much of our computing power is being used by NuNet and stuff. But for now, the only way to see if your device is actually on NuNet is to go to this, localhost 4646. Now, this, <clears throat> this link will only work on your Linux operating system when you're in NuNet. So if you're not in NuNet and this link doesn't work, it won't work and you can't use it from another device that's not on NuNet. You can only use it in your Linux operating system. So click that and if your device is on NuNet then the Nomad will come up. That means that it worked. So here this is my device, NuNet Adapter Faraday and it's running. <gasps> Yay! It said three complete! I finally completed another one! I've been doing NuNet for quite a while and I only had two completes for a long time. I guess somebody finally ran the AI and did another complete. So um, right now we're just running one AI program, the fake news detection AI. And so there's not a lot of people using it. So you're not gonna get a lot of completes during the private alpha. I'm hoping, you know, once we do the public alpha and we're actually earning money, um, we'll get a lot of completes because there'll be a lot more AIs running on NuNet and um, then we'll get more completes and we'll be earning actual money. But right now it's just a test net and they're only running, running one AI program. But um, there's also, there also, sh oh yeah, there it is. News, oh no, news score Faraday is dead for some reason. Uh, probably because I had some difficulty earlier. Uh, for some reason there's a button that lets me start it on here. I won't go into that, but it kind of worries me that I can control my device from um, 
from Nomad. Hopefully that's only because it's my device, because you can view all the other devices on here. Hopefully we don't have the power to control other people's devices from the Nomad. But anyway, um, so yeah, that is how to onboard your device into NuNet for the private alpha, and, um, you, and then how to view it in the Nomad. So all the links that I showed will be in the description and or a pinned comment so that you can use them. So anyway, I've been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything's going to be okay.